Breaking, Obama just got bad news. Major panic mode. The author of the Trump Prophecies book, Mark Taylor says that not only is President Donald Trump not going anywhere and he'll win a second term, but he's predicted that former President Barack Obama will be ripped and stripped of his presidency. Taylor has previously predicted that Donald Trump would win the White House long before the first GOP primary. Taylor made many other predictions that involved martial law and the prosecution of corrupt government officials. According to USA Watchdog, it has come to light that many top Obama officials were involved in framing Donald Trump in an attempt to remove him from office while exonerating Hillary Clinton for actual crimes. Taylor recently sat down with USA Watchdog's Greg Hunter to let everyone know that God is still speaking to him and using Trump to do his work. Taylor says the time is up for those who are corrupt. Well, first off, Donald Trump's not going anywhere, he's here for two terms, period. He will win the second term, it won't even be a contest. If they thought the first one was a runaway train, wait for the next election. The second thing is that when I had prophesied back in November of 2015, I prophesied that time is up for those who are corrupt is the word God shared with everyone. It also said that this sitting president, Obama, was corrupt, basically, he was a lying deceitful thief and would be ripped and stripped of the presidency. This had nothing to do with him being impeached. I caught a lot of flack for that. I always sensed that the Lord was saying that after he, Obama, was out of office, he would be charged with treason, and he would end up going to prison. He will go to prison along with a ton of other people. This word that God gave time is up for those who are corrupt talk about judges, senators, congressmen and women at the state, local and federal levels, that God himself was going to expose. People get angry with Donald Trump for all this stuff. This is not Donald Trump's agenda. He's being used by God. This is God's agenda to expose this corruption and take it down. Righteous judgment is not coming, it is already here. Well, first off. Donald Trump's not going anywhere, he's here for two terms, period. He will win the second term, it won't even be a contest. If they thought the first one was a runaway train, wait for the next election. The second thing is that when I had prophesied back in November of 2015, I prophesied that time is up for those who are corrupt is the word God shared with everyone. It also said that this sitting president, Obama, was corrupt, basically. He was a lying deceitful thief and would be ripped and stripped of the presidency. This had nothing to do with him being impeached. I caught a lot of flack for that. I always sensed that the Lord was saying that after he, Obama, was out of office, he would be charged with treason, and he would end up going to prison. He will go to prison along with a ton of other people. This word that God gave time is up for those who are corrupt talk about judges, senators, congressmen and women at the state, local and federal levels, that God himself was going to expose. People get angry with Donald Trump for all this stuff. This is not Donald Trump's agenda. He's being used by God. This is God's agenda to expose this corruption and take it down. Righteous judgment is not coming, it is already here. Hunter then said that in previous interviews with Taylor, the self-described prophet said that entire sections of the government may come crumbling down. He asked Taylor if there could be martial law in our future because of this. Trump could be forced to do martial law in certain parts of the country to get control of it. I said just before he got in, I said he would have to be careful about how they deal with this corruption because it could literally take down parts of government. I've been telling people put your seatbelts on. We are in for the long ride here. There is a plan at play. The plan is brilliant and taking place right before our very eyes. These are powerful people, and there are certain things that have to be in place. Look at the FBI and DOJ. They've got to be cleaned out. You can't do a fair investigation when they are corrupt Obama holdovers. The length, the width, the breadth of this corruption is global. Taylor then explains why we are seeing the political landscape boiling over because of something called the full moon effect. What is it about the full moon that does this to people? The Lord says to me, Mark, the full moon effect is this, he says the area of operation the enemy works, the devil himself or demons, is in darkness. 
The Lord says when you introduce the light from the full moon, it agitates the demonic, and it brings out the worst in people. That is the first time I got something that actually made sense about the full moon effect. This is what is happening right now. What God is doing right now with the arrest of these sex offenders and exposing all of this stuff. He is introducing light into the darkness. It is agitating the mnemonic. This is why you are seeing all this backlash. This backlash from the enemy is because we are introducing light into the dark. People have to understand this is a threat from the enemy, and there is no time to run in fear or to cower because God is on the throne. He is in control, and this stuff is coming down down.